Okay, part four, state spending. For this particular uh, exercise, you want to, um, and I'm on the demographics page, I want to go and I want to look at each state and I want to get the sum of all the sales to customers report all the sales to customers for that particular state and sum it up. So we would sum up all of New Jersey sales to customers. We would um, sum all of the uh, sales to Florida customers and we're going to report that on another page. So I'm going to um, start another worksheet. I'll call this state spending. So here I want to have the state, and here I want to have the total sales. So to do that, I'm going to copy the states. I'm going to remove the duplicates. Okay, so we have 43 um, unique values remaining. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to sort this A to Z. Now we have our total sales. So right here, this is going to report all the sales to Alabama, all the sales to Arizona, California, and so on. And it's going to get this information from this previous page. Now, of course, we could go with a calculator. We could sum up all the sales to the customer for um, particular states, but that would take you know, too long, and we're using Excel. So we have a function for that. And that function is called sum if. Now, one of the nice things about Excel is we have uh, help. And so we can type in sum if, and we can find um, videos on, on this particular function, even YouTube videos. There's a tutorial that Microsoft has um, that you can find out how to use this particular function if you need additional help. So I'm going to say here sum if, and this is going to ask us for a range, a criteria, and the sum of the range. So the range that we're looking at is from the demographics page, and that's going to be the states. I'll put a comma here. Okay, so it's asking for the criteria. The criteria is this particular row okay, where the formula is located, and then the sum the range. And that is going to be this entire column, total of all sales to customers. And then I'm going to end bracket. Okay. So that gives us a sum for Alabama, $406. Okay, So $406, as I mentioned before, if I were to go through here and I were to find every Alabama and um, total of all sales to a particular customer and get it for all the customers, it would sum $406, and the same for California, and, and so on. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to um, make this into a table. Currency, so this should uh, be formatted as currency. And then next, we use the information contained in these two columns, and we make a chart out of it, and we will include it right here, and this will be called uh, revenue by state. And that's basically displaying all this uh, information here as a, as a uh, chart. So. Okay, so that completes that.